Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiam and to the Akwath. That'll be you, brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say, Lord willing. Hopefully, by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. And this lesson today, I'm going to entitle it The Devil. Is super busy okay the devil is super busy and this is all of the spirit you know I don't have any scriptures written down um, whatever the spirit allows wherever the spirit takes me that's where I'll go but that's what all my spirit right now you know how this how, how this devil is just super busy man and you can see it everywhere you look man you know you can see how how things is being squeezed and fashioned okay fashioned into a way um to uh try to get this place molded into you know what is called their new world order man okay the stage is being set and you could see it you know if you can't see, that means you don't got eyes to see. Okay, but what did the Lord say? The Lord says, blessed are those that have eyes to see. We see it clearly, man. We see in the stages being set. The devil is super busy, man. Okay. Things are set and in place. And right now, basically, the finishing touch is being put on things, man. Okay. That's why we warn you. We we, 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 we we here to warn you of the impending danger, man, and the the, the, the tribulation that's to come. It's all it's all it's written off it's written all through the scriptures, man. Okay? The scripture tells you that, man, I warn you of these things, man. You know, Acts chapter fourteen and verse twenty two, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we through much tribulation must enter into the kingdom of the most high. It's going to be by way of tribulation. The scripture tells you that the righteous, the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. Meaning by the skin of your teeth. Okay? But at, at the end of the day, the word of the Lord doesn't turn back onto him void. So the righteous are going to be saved. They are going to be delivered. Okay? But it's going to, you, you're going to be coming out, of, coming out of tribulation, man. Okay? So this devil is setting... Uh, Setting things up the way he wanted he wanted to be. Why? Because he know he only have a certain time to rule in his kingdom. He have a he have certain boundaries that he cannot pass, and because he know you have these boundaries, as a matter of fact, let me get that. Because he have certain boundaries that he cannot pass, therefore time is against him, and he knows his time is short for him to rule. Okay, let's grab that. This is the book of Job. Job chapter fourteen and verse five. It says, seeing his days are determined. Okay, the wicked Esau. Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee, meaning the Most High. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So he have a, a certain limit, a certain time that he cannot pass. He only could rule until this particular time. And once that time come upon him, it's over for him. And so this is why things is moving fast he's moving fast because he see that he's running out of time scriptures tell you that also right here in the book of uh, let's get it revelation 12 and 12 a scripture we bring out all the time all right so this devil see that his time is fastly approaching so and that's why they doing all of this you know making these sloppy movements to the point that they're being exposed because because time is against them, you know, they're moving sloppy and people starting to see it, right? 
see the devil for who he really is. This is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and he that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know he knoweth that he had but a short time. Okay? Yeah, it says, The devil, man, the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know he knoweth that he had but a short time. Okay? So they're gonna come with all these draconian style laws and you know and uh, make legislation to 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 to, to, to do away with free speech and all this different kind of stuff and start to censor you. You know, they done start the uh, 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 delete brother's channel and uh, muzzle, muzzle brother's channel and stuff like that. You know, because cause the truth, the truth is coming out. The truth is going forward because that's prophecy. The scriptures say, uh, Jeremiah chapter 49 and verse uh, 10, where the Lord said, I have made Esau bear. Okay? And he shall not be able to hide himself, roughly paraphrasing. Okay? The Apostle Paul tell you how, how um, uh, uh, that, 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 that man of sin must be revealed, man. Okay? We're in the time of the man of sin being revealed. You know? Going into to, to him being exposed. Okay? Their secret counsels. Okay? So that, that's, that's, that was one of their greatest attributes was to, to operate in secret. And right now, that's being unraveled true the truth coming forth you know so at the end of the day this these are the reasons why they have in the move fast because they're being exposed and time is against them all right therefore they're coming down having great wrath okay and these are the times that we're in the scripture tell you uh the book of second timothy chapter 3 and verse 1 and this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come Perilous times, man. The word perilous, when you go into it, it mean harsh, fierce, hard to do, savage. Okay? Right? Dangerous. These are the times, man. These are the times. When you go into 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter, beginning at like at about the 68th verse, it, it tells you, man, how the enemy shall come in a, 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 great, a great multitude shall be kindled over you, man. You know, how are they going to take away certain of you, okay? And feed you being idle with things offered unto idols, man. What's that talking about? Go to Revelation chapter 13, okay? Verse 16 on down. It speaks about the Marcus Sorellus, man. All right? Right? That karagma, man. These are the things that are being uh, prepared, man. The scripture speak about these things over 2,000 years ago, man. John the Revelator on the island of Patmos was given these visions, man, by the Lord. Okay? Right? And we see these things coming together, man. All right? Fastly approaching, man. All right? That to the point it's going to get so bad, the Lord is going to have to speed up the days, man. And we see that happening. So much is going on. Look around, man. The devil is super busy, man, setting traps and snares. Okay? So much is happening right now. Right? That <laughs> the Lord is speeding up the days. Okay? You can find that right here. All right, the, the only, the next major prophecy right now is that, you know, karagma being made mandatory, man. Once that's made mandatory today, everything is just going to start to move real fast. The devil is super busy, but things going to even speed up even more. Okay, when, 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 when the karagma is, 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 uh, is uh, been made mandatory, man. Okay, but let's get this it's inside the book of uh, Matthew book of Matthew the 24th chapter where the Lord said um, the Lord speak about a time of no other this is going into 70 AD but it's also going into right now and how do we know that I'm going to read the 21st verse but this 22nd verse makes you know that so 21 is dealing with 70 AD it says for then shall be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever shall be 
And it's also going into this time that we're in right now. What confirms that? Verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened, man. Okay? So the Lord says he's going to shorten the days, man, for the elect's sake. Because this is going to be a time, a time like no other, man, Jacob's trouble. Okay? Let's grab that real quick. Let's go to it. Uh, the book of Jeremiah, the 30th chapter. I'll jump in here at verse 4. And it says, and these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Now who is Jacob? The progenitor or the patriarch of the twelve tribes of Israel, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You're the Israelites, man. It's, it's talking to you. A time of trouble for you. Your forefather is Jacob, man. It says Jacob's trouble, so it's your trouble. Okay? And right now the devil is super busy setting it up, setting up Jacob's trouble. For, for, so for you scoffers and you doubters and you the, the ones of you that, that don't believe that this time is going to come, remember what the scriptures say. Right? But let me finish reading this verse and I, then I'll go to get it. It says, It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right? The elect is going to be saved out of it. The one-third. The one-third elect men, women, and children. But remember, the scriptures speak about the two-thirds. Okay? Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 8, which says, And two parts in the land shall be cut off and die, but the one-third shall be brought through the fire. Right? How the one-third is going to be brought through the fire? When the Lord returns, and uh, Michael, the archangel, is going to stand up and, 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 and fight for his people, man. Okay? He's going to stand up and fight for his people. Let's grab that real quick book of uh, Daniel the 12th chapter because it's going to be a time so rough and so bad that we're going we're gonna to need divine intervention man from the heavens above it says and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for thy children for the children of thy people and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time and at that time thy people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book so those that are found written in the book that's the elect man they're going to be delivered through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai the Lord says he's going to lift up that standard when you read Isaiah 59 and verse 19 okay so we're here to warn you and, and, and tell you the word of the Lord so you, 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 you could repent man and seek the Lord before it's too late before the famine of the word okay but a lot of scoffers out there they don't believe but guess what Romans 3 and 3, when you go to that, it tells you, right? This is the book of Romans chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, for what if some did not believe? So if you don't want to believe what we're telling you, you're going to find out the hard way. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. Okay, so we only here to warn you, okay? Our job is just to warn you, okay? But we, we ain't going to be concerned about you if you're not seeking the Lord. This, this, we, only, we only concern about the, the hopeful elect, those that are willing to be obedient to the words of Yahweh Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so let me grab this real quick in the book of 2 Ezra chapter 15. I start at verse 3. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. That's right, we're not going to fear. The imaginations against the men of the Lord. Let not the incredulity, which this word incredulity goes into unbelief. Let not the incredulity or unbelief of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Yeah, you're speaking against this word. Okay, the, the scriptures tell you in the book of Peter, where it tells you about uh, speaking things, uh, speaking things that they know not of. Roughly paraphrasing, as natural brute beasts. You're made to be taken, man, as natural brute beasts because you, you're, speaking, you're speaking of things, uh, uh, dignitaries of things you, you know not about, man, roughly paraphrasing, okay? It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity 
of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Verse 4, this is the point. It says, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Yeah, you don't believe is a, is a, is a, is a, is a consequence for not believing, man. All right, you're supposed to believe on uh, the Heavenly Father and His Son. Or believe, you know, on the Heavenly Father through His Son. Okay, because he's the way back to the Heavenly Father. He's the adoption. He's the uh, he, he was he was him. It was him who was used to be to, to make reconciliation to bring us back to the Heavenly Father. So you have to believe on the Son. Okay, and remember the Scripture tell you uh, Acts chapter four and verse twelve. There's no other name given under heaven whereby a man can be saved. So if you don't believe on the Son, <laughs> you the, the times are coming. Jacob's trouble. If you're not calling on Yahweh <laughs> Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, how, how are you going to be delivered, man? Okay. Especially in these times where the devil is super busy. All right? So that's it, man. If you don't believe, there, 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 hey, there's consequences for that. All right? So you have to know who is your true power in that day. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are safe, man. Okay, the scripture tells you Psalms 124 and verse 8. Our help is in the name of of the Lord. The Lord tell you say because because we have known because he have known my name I will save him. Okay, roughly paraphrasing uh, Psalms 91. Okay? So, amen. In this day and in this time, you have to know who's your power to call on for help because the devil is super busy, man. The scripture speaks about you know, the devil going forth um as a as a roaring lion, man. Let me let me get that real quick. I'm gonna get two more, you know, and I'm gonna get get ready to close it out. Uh what's that? The book of uh, First Peter's, First Peter chapter five and verse eight. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant." Right? Why? Because the devil is super busy. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil. As a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may devour. So if you're just being a low lion fruit, man, the devil could just devour you. All right? Especially how they're moving super fast in these times. All right? So keep your, your spiritual lens up. All right? And watch as well as pray as the scriptures say, man. Okay? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. And it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices, right? You got to keep your eyes peeled, man. Watching, praying always, okay? Keeping up with what's going on in the news, filtering it through the scriptures, man. That's what you got to do. And I'll leave you with this one and close out with this right here. Let's go to uh, let's go to Ephesians, the fifth chapter, beginning at the 15th verse. It says, see then that you walk circumspectly, okay? Not as fools, but as wise, Redeeming the time because the days are evil, man. All right? That's what it is. Got to redeem the time. Use the time that you got to, to please the Lord. Being, being in holy conversation. Being in brotherly love and showing charity. Giving yourself over to reading and attendance to the, to, to the brotherhood, man. Until the Lord appears, man. Until the Lord returns. Okay? Walk in the righteous way. Keeping the, the, the faith and fighting the good fight of faith. Okay? Redeeming the time because the days are evil. Verse 17, wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what is the will of the what slacky, what the will of the Lord is. So knowing that the devil is super busy out here, you gotta understand what is the will of the Lord, man, to please the Lord, because at the end of the day, the most high is in control of all things. Alright? The most high is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is in control of all things. Alright? So at the end of the day, let him be your shield and your buckler. Okay? To defend you. It's the most high who go for it. To fight for you, man. The scripture says. So at the end of the day, you have to lean on the Lord. Not, don't lean on your own understanding. Okay? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. All right? And lean not on your own understanding. Okay? Acknowledge him in all thy ways and he will direct thy path. All right? Hey, so with that, hopefully you are edified. On to the next one. Shalom.